Balbriggan is associated with its industrial past and its picturesque harbour. However, the town of the small hills is part of a considerably more ancient landscape. With access to the sea, rivers and good agricultural land, the coastland around Balbriggan has always been a good place for human settlement since the earliest time. Indeed, the Braemore Passage tombs to the north of Balbriggan have long been thought to be older than those of Newgrange and Nout in the Boyne Valley. What we know of later settlement is also focused on Braemore Castle where the Barnwell family has farmed from medieval times. In 1567, it was described as a castle, gardens, eight tenements, an orchard and a park. Apparently, the castle was attacked during the Confederate Wars as it was described as burnt in the 1640s. However, the community excavation which took place here in 2017 uncovered no evidence of burning or attack. Instead, a previously unknown ditch was identified. It contained a range of domestic waste, including pottery, animal bones and seeds, one of which produced a date range of 1483 to 1641 AD, which is a similar period to the construction and early occupation of the fortified house here. Rebuilding of Braemore Castle has been ongoing since the mid-1990s. As the original building only survived to first floor level, the remaining reconstructed elements are conjectural and include four storeys of accommodation and single storey kitchen wing. The sailor's grave is a mound of stones to the north end of the King Strand, so called as it commemorates the dead of the ships such as the Bell Hill and the Sarah of Runcorn that were wrecked off the nearby Cardi Rocks. Tradition has that visitors add a stone to the curb. New Haven Village was located further north of Bremer Castle. It appears to have been established sometime after 1562 when James Barnwell of Brian Moore and Margaret, his wife, were granted the right to build a fisher town and a pier or harbour. The village was described in the Down Survey as having 10 houses. On the same headland is the Braemore Passage Grave Cemetery. Consisting of at least five mounds, the passage grave tradition extends to both sides of the mouth of the nearby Dalvin River. The best preserved passage tomb is a circular cairn with possible curbstones. There is, however, an area of collapse which, according to the landowners, is the result of stone being taken from it to form an aerosite, part of the emergency defences of the 1940s.